Hans George von Friedeberg, a name often overlooked in the annals of World War II history, played a significant but tragically brief role in the closing days of the war. As a senior German naval officer, his actions and decisions during this tumultuous period shed light on the complexities and moral dilemmas faced by those caught in the midst of a crumbling regime. Early career and rise in the Navy. Born on July 15, 1895, in Strasbourg, Friedeberg's naval career began in the Imperial German Navy during World War I. His leadership skills and strategic acumen didn't go unnoticed, and he rose through the ranks during the interwar period. World War II and the Naval Command When World War II erupted, Friedeberg found himself at the helm of critical naval commands. His assignments included service on submarines and battleships, where he demonstrated his capabilities as a skilled naval officer. However, his real prominence came in the final months of the war. A harrowing decision. As the Nazi regime faced imminent defeat, Friedeberg found himself in an unenviable position. In the face of Germany's surrender, he was appointed as the chief of the German Naval Command in May 1945. Tasked with negotiating the surrender of German naval forces to the Allies, Friedeberg faced a profound moral dilemma. The instrument of surrender. In the waning days of the war, Friedeberg negotiated the terms of the surrender of German naval forces with British Admiral Sir John Cunningham. The instrument of surrender, signed on May 7, 1945, marked the cessation of hostilities in the North Atlantic. Friedeberg's actions demonstrated his commitment to preventing further loss of life and destruction, despite the disarray and desperation of the collapsing Nazi regime. Tragic End Friedeberg's efforts for a peaceful resolution came to an abrupt end. Learning of Adolf Hitler's death and with the unconditional surrender of Germany looming, Friedeberg's anguish and sense of duty deepened. Fearing retribution from the advancing Soviets, he took his own life on May 23, 1945, only days after his negotiations with the Allies. Legacy and Reflections Hans George von Friedeberg's story encapsulates the moral dilemmas faced by many military officers during times of crisis. His attempt to secure a peaceful surrender and prevent further bloodshed, even in the twilight of Nazi Germany, reveals the complexity of human decisions within the context of war. While his name might not be as widely recognized as other figures of World War II, Friedeberg's actions speak to the potential for moral courage and a commitment to humanity, even amid the darkest of circumstances. In the annals of history, Hans-George von Friedeberg stands as a reminder that even in the chaos of war, individuals can choose compassion and restraint over blind obedience. His legacy prompts us to reflect on the choices we make and the ethical responsibilities that come with positions of power, particularly in times of crisis. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.